Triple superphosphate, TSP. Triple superphosphate, TSP, was one of the first high analysis phosphorus, P, fertilizers that became widely used in the 20th century. Technically, it is known as calcium dihydrogen phosphate and as monocalcium phosphate. The concept of TSP production is relatively simple. Manufacturers make non-granular TSP typically by reacting finely ground phosphate rock with liquid phosphoric acid in a cone-type mixer. Granular TSP is made similarly, but the resulting slurry is sprayed as a coating onto small particles to build granules of the desired size. The product from both production methods then cures for several weeks as the chemical reactions are slowly completed. At first we should know the concentration of raw material we will use in manufacture process by knowing the concentration of raw material and know the concentration of impurities we can calculate the accurate quantities we should use to produce the product TSP. We assume that the concentration of phosphorus in the phosphate ore that will be used in the manufacturing process is 30%. For ease of calculations, we will assume that the compound present in the ore is tricalcium phosphate. The percentage of phosphorus oxide present in tricalcium phosphate is equal to the molecular weight of phosphorus over the molecular weight of the whole compound. Then the phosphorus is converted to phosphorus oxide by compensation in the equivalent weights as shown. From previous calculation 45.8 phosphorus oxide is equivalent to 100% of tricalcium phosphate. From previous calculation, 45.8 phosphorus oxide is equivalent to 100% of tricalcium phosphate, but the percentage of phosphorus oxide in the ore is 30%. So the concentration of tricalcium phosphate is equal to 30 multiplied by 100 divided 45.8 equal to 65.5%. It is mean the concentration of calcium triphosphate in one ton equals 655 kilograms but the percentage of phosphorus oxide in the ore is 30%. So the concentration of tricalcium phosphate is equal to 30 multiplied by 100 divided 45.8 equal to 65.5%. It is mean the concentration of calcium triphosphate in one ton equals 655 kilograms. So the concentration of tricalcium phosphate is equal to 30 multiplied by 100 divided 45.8 equal to 65.5%. It is mean the concentration of calcium triphosphate in one ton equals 655 kilograms. The main sources of calcium oxide in the ore is calcium phosphate and calcium carbonate. Now we calculate the percentage of each source according to available data and percentage of calcium phosphate. Knowing the concentration of calcium phosphate, it is possible to calculate the equivalent percentage of calcium oxide by calculating the equivalent molecular weights. So the percentage of calcium oxide in 65 kilograms of calcium phosphate equals 65 multiplied by 168 divided by the molecular weight of calcium phosphate 310 equal to 35.4%. Knowing the percentage of calcium oxide in calcium phosphate, the percentage of calcium carbonate can be calculated by subtracting the percentage of total calcium oxide in the ore from the percentage of calcium oxide present in calcium phosphate. Percentage of calcium oxide in calcium carbonate equal 12.6%. Calculating of calcium carbonate in ore by knowing the percentage of calcium oxide is calculated. From calculation, the percentage of calcium carbonate 22.6% its mean it have 226 kg in one ton. To produce triple superphosphate, the reaction takes place between phosphate rock and phosphoric acid. The reaction results in two types of compounds with different properties. The first type is monocalcium phosphate, which is the active substance of triple superphosphate. The second type is dicalcium phosphate. Monocalcium phosphate dissolves in water at a rate of 20 grams per liter. The pH ranges from 3.0 to 4.5. Dicalcium phosphate dissolves in water at a rate of 0.2 grams per liter. It can be considered insoluble in water. The pH ranges from 4.7 to 7.5. So the reaction between phosphate rock and phosphoric acid to produce monocalcium phosphate dihydrate and decalcium phosphate monohydrate. The equation is balanced as follow 2 mol of calcium phosphate reacts with 5 moles of phosphoric acid and 9 moles of water to yield 3 moles of monocalcium phosphate dihydrate and 3 moles decalcium phosphate monohydrate. By calculating the molecular weight of each compound multiplied by the number of moles, 
and knowing the amount of calcium phosphate present in the ore, the rest of the reaction components are calculated. The required amount of phosphoric acid to react with 655 kilograms of calcium phosphate is equal to 655 multiplied by 490 and divided by 620 equals 517 kilograms of phosphoric acid concentration 100%. The amount of water required for the reaction to take place is equal to 655 multiplied by 162 divided by 620, which equals 171.2 kilograms. Now we have calculated the amount of acid required and the amount of water required to react with calcium phosphate, but what is the concentration of the acid used? The acid concentration used is calculated as follows. The amount of acid divided by the sum of the acid and water multiplied by 100. I mean 517 divided by 517 plus 171 multiplied by 100 equals 75%, so the percentage of acid is not more than 75. But the concentration of the acid used in the reaction, as we agreed from the previous calculations, is 75%. So the amount of acid used will be 442.9 multiplied by 100 divided by the concentration 75 to give the exact amount of 590.6 kilograms. In this way, the first reaction gave us an amount of monocalcium phosphate equal to 798.7 kilograms and a percentage of dicalcium phosphate equal to 545.1 kilograms. To calculate the amount of products from the reaction first, the monocalcium phosphate produced from the first reaction in addition to the second reaction is equal to 1368 second. The amount of decalcium phosphate produced from the first reaction, third, the amount of impurities. Impurities, and it has two sources. The first source is phosphate rock, which is the materials that do not interact with phosphoric acid, such as silicates. The impurities are the difference between the amount of the reactants minus the non-reactive materials, which is approximately equal to 1000 minus the total calcium phosphate and carbonate, which is equal to 119 kilograms. Impurities in phosphoric acid are the substances dissolved in the acid, such as ferrous sulfate, aluminum sulfate, a percentage of silicates, and others. They are estimated at approximately 15% of the amount of acid added. Thus, the percentage of impurities from the acid is the total acid added to the reaction multiplied by 15 divided by 100, which is approximately equal to 191. So the total impurities are 310. This table shows the products of the reactions and their percentages. To calculate the percentage of phosphorus oxide formed in the previous reactions, it is necessary to know the percentage of phosphorus oxide in both compounds monocalcium phosphate and decalcium phosphate. Calculations are done by calculating the molecular weight of phosphorus divided by the total molecular weight of the compound and then converting the phosphorus into phosphorus oxide. By calculating the previous percentages of phosphorus oxide in the percentage of each component, we can calculate the total percentages of phosphorus it means 61.5 multiplied by 56.3 equals 34.6 and 24.5 multiplied by 41.26 equals 10.11. In order to raise the percentage of total phosphorus and dissolved phosphorus, the percentage of phosphoric acid is increased to obtain the third reaction in this compound to convert dicalcium phosphate into monocalcium phosphate. We assume that we are going to convert 400 kg of dicalcium phosphate into monocalcium phosphate, because there must be a percentage of dicalcium phosphate so that the heavy elements and unwanted elements are in an unavailable form for the plant thus, the percentage in monocalcium phosphate is 100 multiplied and 152 divided by 172 to give us 586 kilograms of monocalcium phosphate, and thus the percentage of the calcium phosphate remaining is only 145 kilograms. After adding the new quantities and adjusting the calculations, it appears to us, as shown in the table, monocalcium phosphate which is 80% and contains 45% of phosphorus oxide and decalcium phosphate, and contains phosphorus 2.5%, and thus we have obtained the product that conforms to the market specifications and conforms to the chemical specifications. To calculate the quantities involved in the reaction and calculate the cost of a ton, the following is done first, phosphate rock was used. One ton of phosphate rock, concentration of 30%, was reacted with 1507 kg of phosphoric acid to produce a final product of 2,444 kg, 
after volatilization of the percentage of carbon dioxide present in calcium carbonate, as well as a percentage of fluoride. To produce one ton of triple superphosphate by the shown mathematical equation, one ton of phosphate rock produced 2,444 kilograms of triple superphosphate. So how many kilogram is enough to produce one ton of triple superphosphate? Also, with the same simple mathematical process, the percentage and concentration of phosphoric acid can be calculated.